are in England, y'all. London proper, to be exact. There's one of those big red buses everybody talks about. Hey, you clammed up. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop talking? Oh, we were supposed <laughs> to. Come on. <laughs> hey, keep talking. Uh, so we're gonna head down towards central London and uh, these are the sights. Yeah. Very excited about that. Very cool. These people were just yakking it up. I don't know why they're being so quiet now. Anyway, we'll see you in a little bit. Uh, so we're walking through Regent's Park now. Regent's Park. According to our host, Victor, this is one of the best parks in all of London. So we're walking on our way to the uh, underground and we're having a good old time so far. It is a nice, cool 56 degrees out here. So we're loving it. Okay. <laughs> So we Wait, no, I'm just kidding, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so we came in here and we walked down here and we, we're going back out again. So we've covered most of the Most park. of the park or, or the stuff that we needed to see yeah, at least. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I've heard of That's the one station I know. Oh, really? That's because there's that game that people just pretend to play. Which game? Online, they play this Mornington Crescent game where they'll just say, I moved from Mornington Crescent to Regent's Park and people are like, oh, okay. oh, that was a good move. <laughs> and they just make up stuff on how they move. Short distance. This looks cool. Oh, there's an open air theater. That's neat. Yeah, there, there are various things. Like the gardens are all right, but I mean, you wouldn't probably come here just to see the gardens. Uh, sports pictures I've used before. The zoo's expensive. Primrose Hill's nice, but we're going into the centre of London. We see a good view over London from there. But oh, from from here? Yeah, from, from that point. You right? can see London from there. I see London. I see <laughs> France. All right, that's good. <laughs> anyway. I'm not going to record anymore today because it's just don't want it. So talk to you later. Bye. You just lied. I did. I lied. I got the Jason bug. I got to record everything I see. I just think it's cool. We're headed to St. Paul's Cathedral. Gonna go take a tour of that bad boy. Now, if this is like Scotland Yard, I only have four underground tickets that I can use. <laughs> and after that, I'm stuck on the taxi. Yeah, well, I got my underground ticket right here. And so here we are at this huge monolith referred to as Big Ben. I think it's huge. Oh, double decker red bus. That's cool. How many of these double decker red buses are you going to take video of? Like all of them, dude? Maybe we should ride one of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have to do that. That one doesn't have a top. And it's not, well, it's kind of a red. That's kind of maroon. Big bus London. Funny how the one that says big bus is smaller than the others. <laughs> so we just came out of the underground and uh, right into this big sucker. That's huge. Awesome. Where are we meeting, Campbell? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to check in just a minute. Um, hey, is that a statue of Winston Churchill over there? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it looks like it. Horses it like a bus. Um, Old school, baby. Ooh, smells like horse. Just be glad that the nice Arab Indians don't have a smell of issue. <laughs> Stop with the red buses! Sorry? Kern Leon is part of Lion. I can't read that. <laughs> Tom being a tourist. Huh? Tom being a tourist. I'm taking high quality photographs. No, you are not. <laughs> There's Westminster Abbey. Right behind us. Right across the street. And then I watch a session of houses of parliament. And they're all just yelling. I love that. It's much more exciting. It's absolutely on the scales. They always banter each other. Hey, look, guys. English ducks. That's English water. <laughs> the English bridge. That English dog dog? I'm being goofy on purpose. Really? Yep. It's a beautiful day. Sun is shining. What's that line from Robin Hood? Is there no sun in this cursed country? I think most tourist places which are attractions in London are 20 pounds.
There's Tom being a tourist again. Man. They're gonna think all Americans are tourists. The other front side of it. Back off down the end, right over there. Really cool architecture. Wonderful. Hey, here we are. We're in, uh, what is this, King's Cross? King's Cross Station. And uh, we are, ju we just finished eating breakfast at a, a like a little bakery type. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, here it goes. Um, Pret. Is that how you pronounce that? Pret? Yeah, Pret a manger. Pret a manger. Uh, anyway, uh, so we're sitting here with uh, Tom and Victor. Victor is uh, one of our hosts here in London. And uh, he and Campbell have been, I need to get Campbell on video. I haven't got him on video yet. But uh, he and Campbell have been very hospitable, and we are enjoying our stay here in London so far. Tom is ready to go. Ready to go. Well, you want to go back home already? What's up? <laughs> you don't like England? What's wrong? <laughs> no, I didn't say Come that. On. It's Tower of London today. It's <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yes. So anyway, uh, we're going to watch our P's and Q's, and uh, we're going to go to uh, Tower of London and uh, um, fish and chips. Fish, fish and chips. chips. Wow. Fish and chips. <laughs> so yeah, um, basically our, our, our uh, thing is going to be Tower of London, fish and chips apparently, and then uh, then we're going to go to I think the what the Imperial War Museum or the British Museum, or one of the museums, and uh, uh, maybe see the Bridge of London and that type of stuff. Uh, so we're good. Anyway, check out the uh, station. Really cool. Anyway. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. So here we are. We're about to head into the uh, Tower of London exhibit. And uh, you can see uh, Tower Bridge a little bit back there in the uh, background. And so, and here goes Tom making his obligatory appearance. And uh, so we're, we're having a good time. It's a little bit overcast and it's cold and windy, but I love the cold, so it's good. Um, what do you think so far, Tom? Cool. I like seeing all these old buildings. Old buildings are fantastic. Yeah. Um, a lot of history here, so I'm excited to, you know, I don't really know what's in the Tower of London, actually, so. Right. I know, like, the history of it, but I don't know what's in it right now. Yeah. So exactly. we'll find out. So, uh, that building, that odd-shaped building there in the middle is, uh, the Lord Mayor's building. That's where his offices are. Um, and then, uh, the Tower of London peeking over the top of the, uh, buildings over there. I mean, I'm sorry, the, uh, Tower Bridge, rather. Um, so, looks pretty neat. We're having a good time. There's a lot of people here. A lot of school groups down there, uh, so we're we're uh, enjoying London despite the horrid weather. Actually, I love it. I love the weather. You would like the weather if the sun was out more, though. Yeah, I guess so. It's the, when, when the wind picks up. I brought it gets a new chilly. pair of sunglasses. Totally worthless here. <laughs> totally worthless. <laughs> All right. So uh, the reason I'm doing this is because, quite frankly, I don't know if. Uh, they're going to be able to let us use video cameras and stuff like that inside. If so, I'll get you some shots, but uh, we'll see. See you later. All right, so we're headed in. We just came through the gate, the main gate of the Tower of London. So we're coming in. I mean, just look at it. It's cool. Is Harry Potter in here? That's no, I don't think so. Uh, he's a fictional character, I believe. So anyway, we're walking in. It's a bit... Oh, this is so cool. So cool. <laughs> All right, be back in a bit. <laughs> so we're about to go into the White Tower where they hold the uh, crown jewels. And, uh, oh, torture at the tower. Interesting. We'll go there later. Really neat place here. Love doing this kind of stuff. All right, so I was, I was mistaken. This is where they held the crown jewels, not the White Tower. So we're going to go to the White Tower later. We're going to come over here and look at the crown jewels first. Because this is where the line would be later. And we would like to avoid that. So... Here we go. No cameras in here. The crown jewels, no cameras. So Google it online, y'all. See ya. All right, so I just had to show you because 
This is amazing. What's up, y'all? That's right. That's a urinal, baby. Woo. That's mine. Anyway. Okay. So we just got through looking at the crown jewels. Uh, in this building right here. And uh, Tom had to stop in the bathroom and he took a picture of that urinal. And I, of course, had to take video of the urinal so that I could share it with all you nice we, folks. Our priorities. We yes, care about you. exactly. We care about you guys. So uh, there's baboons on the wall up here. We have no idea why, but they look interesting. And uh, a jewel kiosk where you can buy, apparently, uh, jewel encrusted soft serve ice cream and popcorn. It's very rude. <laughs> <laughs> talking about how uh, we thought this garter robe was uh, you know one of those places where you went in and shot arrows out of the tower and apparently well you can do that a garter rope is that right there oh no you can do that while shooting an arrow oh it's okay it's so it's like it's like okay multitasking all right gotcha go ahead, go ahead. all right so we'll come in here and yep there it is look at that you can uh, take a poo and kill some people with arrows. Awesome. Are you done yet? I need to go. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Reach loading three barrel gun. That's right. Now, what now that's a big book. Goodness. Imagine throwing that in. Stop! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What? Well, he's not. He's alive. That's definitely not what, what was in uh, a knight's tail. No. Ah, oh, look. A little bit heavy. Good night. You had, you had to be Arnold Schwarzenegger to hold that thing. It must. Unless, unless it hooks onto uh, your armor somehow. But I don't know. That's, that's humongous. Because it's unusually large size. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. The shield from Ethiopia with a sword and scabbard. From Japan. Katana. And a presentation stirrup. That's well Smith's get. <laughs> This guy here, you attack it from one side, <laughs> much more defended. Right. That's, that's where the phrase blind side came from. It's gotta be. And that guy there has a lot of room to eat. You notice. Know <laughs> that's the pregnant and so Oh my goodness. Ones who were given to a lot of beer. Look at these, Sam. Look at that gun. Wow. That's my gun. Jewel encrusted. <laughs> my goodness. 
Is that James Bond? That's like the villain's gun. Yes, it is. <laughs> they called him Diamond Gun. <laughs> it's a gold plate. Wow. Self loading pistol. It says it was used in an actual murder. Interesting. I don't know that. I'm just not so excited about that, actually. It's like Mecha Dragon from King of, King of Tokyo. My name is Kipa. I believe anybody who met that ex had a splitting headache afterwards. <laughs> I will not dignify that. Oh, Was that a mortar? A nine barrel mortar. Yeah. The problem with cannonballs is I, I, I feel like they're, they're not effective except against the walls. They fall right. But I mean, yeah, you shoot into a big giant, people will fall out. Yeah. 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 Is that Griffith? Yeah, Wait, Griffith. So cool. So apparently this kind of thing doesn't happen very often. I actually saw some people that, were, that work at the Tower of London come running out to watch this. So uh, that's why I'm going ahead and letting you see it. It's quite a big ship. Okay, so here we are. We are in, uh, the, what is this called? Poppies. Poppies. Uh, for some fish and chips. This is a place that's been re uh, recommended to us. So uh, you see the guys making the food over there. Uh, very nice place, I think. Uh, very, uh, I don't know, it's got a lot of flavor to it. <laughs> I'm so Tom, excited! Tom's rather excited. Um, he even got some uh, Victorian lemonade. Fentiment. Botanically like brewed. Fermented botanical lemon drink with herbal extracts. It's grown hair on my 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 uh, knuckles. I'm yeah, telling oh, you. Knuckles. All right. Cool. I'm awake after drinking and, that stuff. Uh, looks like some uh, famous English people that are on the wall here. Uh, I don't recognize any of them actually, but, but you're, gonna, you're gonna get yelled at for not recognizing those people. I know, probably so. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, we'll be back when the uh, food runs. All right, so here we go. We are actually eating fish and chips, and uh, Tom is uh, very, very, very happy. This is what I'm looking. I'm looking these little bottles of ketchup. That they give. I guess this is tartar sauce, right? Maybe. So they don't put salt in the fries here. No, you need to put one yourself. That's interesting. If you'd ask for it. That is sacrilege right there. If you were going away, they'd say to your salt. It's never going to stop! Sacrilege! <laughs> the camera's off! What are you doing? You need vinegar on your salt chip. Okay, we need vinegar on the chips. Okay. Oh, so chef-like there, Thomas. Very well. <laughs> Good job, yes. You're recording this! I'm yes, like, I am! He put too much salt in his fries! No. Alright, we're we digging in. We walked eight miles to get here. Yes, we did. <laughs> we did. So, we're, we're, we're gonna dig in. Oh, See yeah, you on the other side. Awesome. Alright, now you're on. Oh, oh, oh god, my gracious. God, that was good. Oh. So, what do you think? Fish and chips, are you satisfied? I am. It was very, very good. I had haddock, and you guys had cod. I tried yeah, a bit of the cod. cod. It, was, it, it was good, but the haddock I liked better. Uh, we also got a pickled onion, which I liked, and uh, mushy peas, which were okay, but I think Sam liked them better. Yeah, I liked the mushy peas. Added a little bit of salt to them, and they were good. What about what about you, Victor? Very good. Is this is proper proper English. Proper. This is one of the best fish, fish I've ever had. Very good. <laughs> I don't think so. Very good. Oh, look at that. They even bring the, the, the check to you in a little deep deep fryer. That's uh, very cute. So we're here in the uh, British Museum, as you can see. Just piles and piles of stuff here. Amazing. All the stuff that's here. Well, so here's the interesting story behind it. What what does anything strike you about the text on the stone? Straight up. The sizes. They got the soft go on. The sizes. Smaller Tell me more about the sizes. How many sizes are there? There's three. 
Right. So there's a top van, there's a middle van, there's a bottom van. What do you notice about the text on those different vans? Well, I know. I mean, I know that's Greek, common English, and American. Oh, you know this already? Egyptian. Okay. Well, I also read the sign. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you've spoiled but no, but the history lecture. No, 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 no. Well, I, I mean, I, no, unlike him, I listened in history class. <laughs> and I, this was discovered by Napoleon's troops as they marched through. Um, I don't remember why they were marching through Egypt. They were coming around or something. Well, it was during a time when it was very trendy to pinch stuff from ancient culture. So they, were, they may just have been passing by for all I know. Um, but yes, essentially, because they knew ancient Greek, they could translate. So the middle language is um, an everyday Egyptian, I think, Demotic. And the top is the priestly language, the hieroglyphics. Essentially, it tells the... Um, it's actually essentially a legal document, which is about the commemoration of um, uh, one of the pharaohs. Yeah, but the, the amount of text that's the same can't be that much, right? Because the bottom part of the Greek is... Hey everyone, so we're here at the Drafts Board Game Cafe in England, uh, London, that is. And uh, Tom's going to interview one of the head honchos here. And, uh, well, at least I think he is. He can tell you whether he is or not. But anyway, here goes. Alright, we have Russell. What, what do you do here? I'm a game screwer here at, at uh, Draft. So I basically teach games, uh, I like help people pick games, and just basically kind of help around around the place as well. So kind of an all in one kind of job. It's pretty busy tonight. This is Wednesday night. Is it yeah. this busy every night? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of times when it's quiet, uh, but most times it's like kind of full, and we sometimes have to turn people away actually. So. Really? Yeah, 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 no, it does get really busy. It's surprising, like, there is a big, like, thirst for board games in London. Um, so, yeah, this is really busy all the time. Now, one of your things that you do, you serve tables, but you also teach games. Yes, that's right, yeah. So, how many games do you have to know? Well, there's no, like, official number, but when I started, I probably knew about, like, 40, which isn't a lot, but I think I know probably about 550 now. Whoa! Yeah, um, it's just one of the things that I do. But I would imagine that there's many games that there's like probably 30 games that are played more than any others. Yes, there are definitely like the popular games. What is the ones. most popular game other than Cards Against Humanity? <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, I would say probably something like 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 Carcassonne and, get, and Catan always get played all the time. Okay. They're the ones that people know when they come in as well. But then there's like surprising games, like one of the uh, local companies down here, they're, they're a board game maker, and they're called Big Potato, and they make a game called Obama Lama, and that's like really popular as well. Obama so, Lama? Obama Lama, yeah. It's a rhyming Obama, game. Obama Lama, Obama Lama, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of the other surprise sort of popular games as well. And you also sell a few games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try and keep uh, like a nice varied stock of uh, games here because we understand sometimes people will play a game and they'll just be like you know can I buy it and we're like yeah sure like we'll take it to the shop and then see if they want to buy it themselves so it's kind of nice to, to have that as a backup you know all right so if someone's in London and they want to come here yeah. where do they go they need to come to a Haggerston it's in East London uh, it's 337 Acton Muse you can find us on uh, draftslondon.com so if you want to find directions just give us an email we'll We'll get you down here. Um, open all day, every day. So, uh, yeah. That's well, it. Thanks so much. Thanks Appreciate so much. I'm glad it. you enjoyed your visit. Back to the boring blog. Anyway, goodness gracious, it's been a long day. This it has, has been, been a long day. This is like Wednesday, right? We're, this is still Wednesday, right? Yeah, but tomorrow you're gonna travel, yeah. go chunk a day, so you can rest then. Yes, hopefully so. We got a two-hour train ride in the morning. Um, we're headed back. We just left Drafts Board Game Cafe, and uh, we're headed back. Uh, to our respective homes that we are being uh, kept in right now. Yep, so uh, it's goodbye London now. We are leaving and then uh, going to Nottingham myself and Birmingham tomorrow. So we'll see you later, folks. Woo! Bye. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.